Hello everyone. If you are new to UK, definitely this video will be useful for you. If you are just arrived UK for long term settlement or to work for a certain number of years or you are going to study for some number of years, definitely this video will help you. This video is regarding how to navigate the UK broadband market. So what are the things you should not do? What are the things you have to look out for? And what are the things you have to ask if you are renting a property to the owner regarding the broadband connection? This video will give you a, a comprehensive information about what are the things you need to what are the things you need to avoid. In my previous three videos, I have mentioned about UK water connection, UK electricity connection, and UK gas connection. A lot of people have given their like, share, and comment on those videos. It's really encouraging. Please like, subscribe, and comment my channel. Which this will this will definitely encourage me to put a lot of new videos. Let's get into the video. Every home in the UK will have a phone connection. Basic phone connection is copper wire connection. This connection will be there for every house. I would say 99% of the house unless you are in a very remote village or even a house is the very remote. Definitely these houses will also be given connection if you request for a connection. So as I mentioned 99% of the houses will have basic phone connection that is copper wire connection. They will have a landline number. With using that landline number you can request for a broadband connection you know that you you have recently moved to home and you know that there is a phone connection or working phone connection or there was a working phone connection what you can do is you can check with the these are the few broadband providers bt that is british telecom british telecom is one of the biggest platform provider in uk vodafone o2 e sky so these are all the broadband providers in uk so the basic infrastructure of phone is already laid in UK by BT which was previously British Telecom and then it was a government owned company after that it is now privatized. So BT, BT's open reach which is again recently it was split BT's open reach that is the new company called open reach that is managing the network of the UK. So they are responsible for laying the cables giving connections and look into the connection issues that is open reach recently it was split from BT it is a separate company and then BT is a big company who offer broadband as well as basic phone connection if you go to the if you go to the BT website uh, then you put your house postcode then they will tell you whether uh, they, they, they are providing the broadband service or a phone connection to that house so BT will definitely provide on top of it some other companies will provide a broadband connection based on the uh, cable that is if it is proper cable there will be some broadband type of connections you can get if it is if the house is having uh, um, fiber cable then you get high speed broadband connections there are a lot of smaller companies also available who are giving broadband connection in UK so the companies I mentioned BT, Vodafone, O2, E and then you have um, other sky these are the companies so you have a basic copper connection so in the basic copper connection you can get the basic package which will be around 17 mega mbps with the basic phone connection that is copper phone connection you can definitely get the minimum speed of 10 to 15 megabits per second that connection you can get so that cost i, I cannot share the cost because the cost differs from a package to package and then it will start from 15 pounds and then it goes uh, based on the, what you are opting for the service. For example, you have a landline and you are saying that I don't want to use landline. That is, I will have a landline for the purpose of broadband, but I will not make any calls. Then the, the charge will be different. But you can say there will be another package which will say that you, you can opt for another five pounds of that package that is add five pounds on top of the package then they will say that okay you can talk weekends freely or evening freely those kind of things will come or else you can opt for a package where i need a phone connection landline for the purpose of broadband but i will not make any phone or if i make a phone then that will be charged as a pay as you go that is if you use then you will pay else you cannot you will not be charged that is possible so basic for copper line you can get a basic speed of 10 to 15 megabits per second uh, mbps sec uh, speed broadband that is basic if your house or if your area is having um, the fiber network then you can ask for fiber connection again you have to go to the individual fiber broadband providers like vodafone o2 sky bt ee and talk talk a lot of things are there so if you go to that website and then put your postcode they will say that whether they are providing uh, the fast fiber broadband to that house or uh, to that area to make things simple you have uh, some other websites like which.co.uk 
uh, or uswitch.co.uk these sites are comparing websites where you put your postcode and then they will tell you who are all supplying the broadband in that area. So with respect to broadband, the speed starts from 35 Mbps until it goes to 900 Mbps or more than that. Even in the fiber type broadband, you will have some difference there. That is one category is fiber to your house, FTH, and another is fiber to the cabinet. That is the fiber connection, the speed high fiber connection will come to the nearest cabinet outside your home or outside the outside your street from there the copper cable will come to your house so this in this type the speed will not go beyond 50 megabits per second uh, that's there and again it depends upon the how far you are away from the nearest uh, telephone exchange so that decides the speed for FTC fiber to cabinet if you know that your house is already having the fiber connection then as I mentioned using that website uswitch.co.uk you can find who are all giving the uh, service fiber service to your house that is FTH fiber to house which will be faster you, you get, again it starts from 50 100 150 200 and companies like Virgin they give around 900 Mbps or 1 Gbps speed also but the cost will differ all these uh, fiber connection broadband or contract basis either 12 month contract 18 month contract or 24 month contract so if you quit in between the contract for various reasons then you have to pay some quitting charge that will be some companies will share that say that okay if you are in a 12 month contract you are leaving in the last two months then you have to pay the the fixed the monthly amount which you are supposed to give to them some companies will have that rule terms and conditions some companies will say that if you could quit any time then you have pay some fixed amount that will be there either BT, uh, Sky, uh, Vodafone, uh, O2, EE, TalkTalk all other companies some companies will charge you upfront that is before you use they will charge and almost 90% of the broadband companies with respect to the fiber broadband are unlimited broadband service so you can use as much as you want and you can uh, download upload as much as you can month will be from starting from 12 month 18 month and 24 month within these uh, 12 18 24 month there will be a term terms and conditions that they will increase the price in in the middle of your contract that is uh, that is for the past three four years it is there so it's based on the inflation uh, based on certain month inflation they will either use that inflation rate which is published by the government to increase your monthly broadband about five by that percentage or what they will do is based on the inflation plus four percent plus two percent they will rise either it happens in december or in april so every company is now doing that but the government is trying to kind of streamline that that uh, this should not be uh, uncontrolled uh, increase of the price so that is in progress so they can raise the price in between that is you cannot quit the contract for the reason of price increase because you already agreed to the contract that they can raise the price in, in the middle of the contract so that is there previously there was a clause saying that if you don't agree to the price increase within one month you can quit also if you are already started using the contract and then you are finishing the contract you can switch from one supplier to the another supplier without having to call anyone to your house so you switch from O2 to Sky, Sky to Vodafone, Vodafone to BT you can do that some switching is there within seven days they will switch uh, they will send the router some companies will charge you connection charge some companies will say free uh, companies like BT, Sky they will provide TV along with the package so if you have a broadband package which is 20 pounds then on top of it you want for a TV that is a subscription based TV which, which shows their Premier League matches, football matches and cricket matches all other things then you pay on top of it the dish type of uh, TV is slowly phased out everything is in broadband through broadband the TV is coming through to your home nowadays so what are the things you need to avoid main thing is try to if you are not going to stay in this country for more than 12 months then go for 12 month contract and then subsequently you increase or if you are not sure that you, you will leave within two months three months then then you can buy a pay as you go mobile dongle uh, whereby this mobile broadband you can use it for your work or for entertainment purpose but that will be having a limited amount of uh, space that is uh, the GB will be 30 GB 50 GB something like that so it's not unlimited 
so keep in mind if you are going to use mobile broadband dongle so the main thing is uh, the connection charge which they will charge when you opt for a broadband connection for the first time some companies will not do that some companies will charge you and some companies will charge you to for the delivery of the router which comes to you another important thing sometimes if the connection to your home that is broadband connection while you are switching or getting for the first time is delayed after the date they agreed to provide you the service then the companies needs to provide you some uh, amount that is some set amount for the loss of service for the number of days around 8 pounds or 10 pounds per day this amount is just a government set amount they will say that okay next it will take another 10 days to resolve your broadband issues then we will pay every day 5 pounds or 10 pounds something like that they will deduct it from your uh, kind of next bill in some cases if you are switching from one company to another company the company which you are switching will provide some uh, new vouchers uh, money back cash back vouchers where which you can use to reduce the bill which is nothing but they will not reduce the bill you will pay 25 pounds per month but the company will say that we will give you amazon voucher for 100 pounds so you have to see the 12 months into 25 pounds then subtract the 100 then that that will be the uh, profit you will be getting or the monthly payment you will be paying so that is also possible switching but if you are a kind of renewing in the same company then the, the they will not give this voucher or cashback they will only give for new customers to attract new customers my ad advice or what i have done in the past i'm um, doing is switch your broadband provider frequently again i'm not saying that if you're happy with the broadband provider you can haggle in the sense call them and say that there is some cheaper option available with another provider i want to switch can you match the price most of the time they will do the matching or they will say that no we cannot match it depends upon the timing if it is end of the financial year if you do it in march so they will have a big target or if you do it in the every in the month a month end the representative who is answering your phone in the call or through chat will try to reduce as much as possible most of the time it is possible to match the price of the competitor sometimes they will do sometimes they will say no we cannot do you can leave so you can happily leave to the another uh, band band provider provided there is no loss of service between the switch so plan it accordingly that is you can do that so broadband market again same phone line same single exchange telephone exchange used by multiple uh, service providers uh, same like gas same like uh, electricity but not like water the same line can be used the same same exchanges can be used by different service providers but definitely the line from the cabinet that is the telephone cabinet in the street or in your locality to your home will be definitely a separate uh, line only not shared uh, but in your locality the next next door neighbor can have a bt you can have vodafone another one can have sky another one can ee all those things possible what i meant what what i have said in this video is mostly about uh, how broadband setup works in uk the copper broadband fiber broadband and then the type of contracts and then you have the uh, how, what you need to do in case of uh, services lost what is the compensation they give so those things i mentioned hope this is helpful we'll see in the next video until then take care bye